ever seen or heard this bird outside around where you live? This is called the black cap chickadee. It's a fun, curious little bird, and he has a very unique song. Today I'm going to show you how to sketch the black cap chickadee using some basic shapes and lines. All you're going to need is a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper. All right, let's get started. All right, I've got my paper here, and it's just a white piece of paper. We're not going to add color today. I don't want you to add color if you're at home. Uh, I just want to sketch. Now the word sketch means to draw lightly and you don't always have to have it perfect when you're sketching. So just trying to get the basic shapes and lines in your picture and then once you have it how you want it, then you go back and you darken it in. All right, so I like to start, kind of keep my bird in, in around the middle of my paper. Depending on the size, you might be able to actually add more than one. But I'm gonna show you how to sketch a chickadee. I always start with a head, and it is, I use a semicircle for this. So I'm gonna sketch lightly. You notice I'm doing it in short little lines. And then once I get it how I want it to be, that's when I can go back and darken it in. All right, I'm going to put, it's, remember it's a semicircle, so I'm gonna put a line on the bottom. Now this is a bird, so if it's not a perfect semicircle, it's still going to work out just fine. All right, I'm gonna make the back of the bird with a line, sketch it in, make it light at first, and then when you get it how you want, you can go and darken it. Now sometimes people like to do all the sketching really lightly at first, and then wait to the end to darken in their lines. It's up to you how you do that. Um, I'm darkening it as I can go so that you can really see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got the head and a line that's going diagonal down for the back of the bird. Now the front of the bird is going to be nice and curved for the stomach, so lightly. And it's okay if those two don't meet right now. I'm just going to get a nice curve in there. All right, now the beak of the chickadee is very tiny not very big at all and it comes to a point and the eye is just a circle don't make it too big and there's a little black mark the feathers right under the beak here it's almost like a little triangle shape are black so I'm just gonna make a little space right here that shows that and now I'm going to do the wing and the wing I start right um, up in this corner up kind of near the top end of that semicircle, and I'm just going to draw a curve going this way. Sketch it in first, curve, and then the bottom part straightens out. Well, that worked out nicely. Now, sometimes it doesn't work out where it just touches that line. It happened to on this one, um, but if not, you might need to erase a little bit. It's okay to do that. All right, I'm going to add the tail, which I don't have a super long tail, two lines. I have it slightly closer together up here by the body and a little bit farther apart here. Now this is the tail, it's not really a tail like you think of like on a tiger, it's made up of feathers. So the end is going to be a little bit curvy like that. And you might even want to sketch in a couple lines to show that there's feathers. I think I'll do that on the wing too. Just add a couple straight lines to show the long feathers here. All right, now when I do the legs, I'm gonna do them kind of a, a little bit different. I'm going to make little tiny triangles. That's where it's kind of coming out of the body. And you'll notice this line right here kind of is more diagonal back and this one is more straight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a line for the leg that kind of continues back out of here and then goes the other direction. I'm gonna do the same thing here. It's okay if they're not exactly the same. I think that actually is quite normal. And then the feet are going to go on the end and they are just little curves. Now if you're not a fan of drawing the legs this way, I might even just erase a little bit right here, uh, you could just draw the little curved lines right next to the body and that would make, actually I'm going to leave this one solid and this one erased. That way it looks like this one's in front and that one's a little behind. 
Um, if you want, you can even add one that goes back like that. Now, we can't just leave the chickadee sitting here floating in midair. We need to give the chickadee something to stand on. So I am going to make a branch. So you need one line that goes under the leg. Now, you decide if you wanted to go all the way over to the side of your paper. I decided this time to just go down to the bottom. But it has to be out here, a little past where the legs are, and then going to the side of your paper. Now, I'm going to make another line right near that, sketch it in, and then you can darken it. Now, if you're just going through the line, it's okay. If you run into the tail, make sure you don't draw through the tail and that you're leaving a little space. I think I'm just gonna make this line continue down and then have it come to a point. I'm gonna make more than one branch, I think, and I would like you to make that as well. So I'm just going to add a couple more branches, just some lines for that. You can even have one behind here if you think that. Maybe you'd like to have some more branches um, or maybe another chickadee facing the other direction. That could be up to you. Now I will give you a sneak peek, but you have to promise me that you won't be adding color to yours today because we're gonna do some neat things to add some color. Um, I actually use mostly crayon, but then I did use a little bit of paint for my sky. You don't have to use paint, but um, I want you to hold off. This is kind of where we're heading in a couple art times. This is how it will look like, but you can see you don't have to draw the branch just the same way. You can have it slightly different, but I will show you how to do the coloring on a different art day. Um, and so for now, I'm going to sign off. Just remember to save this paper. You should always write your name on the back. If you're at school, make sure you write the code. Um, if you would like to draw more than one chickadee, go ahead and do that. Leave the sky blank for right now and leave the colors of the chickadee alone. If you're at home, you might wanna research and look up some internet pictures of chickadees. Um, we will be doing that in class as well. So uh, I hope you're having a great day. Give this a try. Remember, it's just a sketch and if it doesn't work, you can try it out and work on it. Um, and it doesn't have to look just like Miss Porter's. All right, I'm signing off for today. Stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye.